This is the Oasis. It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. This was the mulligan stew of movies for mm. me. This, this was, the, the, the important thing was is to put every ingredient we could, we could think of without killing the taste. So it would have an identity. It's something you could smell and taste and feel you were a part of. And, and, and yet still have all the, what we call Easter eggs for, for the audience to discover. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do, but they stay because of all the things they can be. Like I couldn't imagine any novelist having as good an experience. Translating any book to a film, there's obviously got to be a lot of changes. Even though there are major changes, it works. Uh, starting out as a screenwriter, uh, I, I was prepared for that. Well, the whole time I was writing Ready Player One, it was uh, uh, well, it was kind of uh, a project that I started out of frustration as a screenwriter. I wanted to try writing fiction so I would have more control over my story and my characters. And, and I assumed from the beginning, once I kind of came up with this idea of mashing up all of pop culture in this virtual world and paying tribute to all the different facets of pop culture that I love, I knew right away, well, you, you can do that in a book, uh, maybe, uh, but you can't do it in a film because you would have to license all of that. And, you know, uh, the only, uh, you know, parallel I could think of, uh, other example was Who Framed Roger Rabbit, uh, which Stephen made happen through, you know, uh, his powers of persuasion. Everybody was uh, excited to uh, let him use their different animated properties for that movie in the same same thing kind of played out with Ready Player One, and everyone was enthusiastic to have well, their IP. Also, yeah. because Ernie is a screenwriter, I mean, one of the first things he said to me is, we, you, we have to change the challenges. They're not going to translate the way they were. And it's nothing less than a war for control of the future. Both of us have had the experience of screenwriters of seeing our work. Let's, let's be polite and yeah. say not come out exactly as perhaps we intended. <laughs> butchered. Uh, you could say butchered. <laughs> I like to say... Uh, <laughs> finely sliced too yeah. much. Um, no, but in any event, to, to have someone who is prepared and is steeled for that and is ready for you to give him much worse news, like, oh, guess what? It's not the Oasis. It's actually, uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's all set on ice now and it's a musical. Whenever Steven and I or any of us were debating what should we do here, which way do we go, we'd call Ernie and say, what do you think? What, what would it be in your universe? And sometimes he'd say, whatever works best for the scene. And sometimes he said, he would say, this is my opinion. And it was like, good, okay, that's our tiebreaker because it's his world. I don't think we had one real disagreement. I mean, in fact, there was many times where there were things that Ernie and I agreed on that we would gang up on Steven about and really, and then lose. Um, <laughs> yeah, he has final, yeah. final say. Even but four of us do not equal one of him. It, so. It's true. I'm the cat that curiosity can't kill, uh, uh, because I've, I, I really, and a lot of my my brethren, my brothers and sisters who make films, you know, I've, they fe they feel the same way. That that how do we expect an audience to be curious about anything if we're not the first ones to discover what's to be curious about? And and that's what every movie I've ever made is because I've had a curiosity about the subject matter, a curiosity about the the character that we're, that we're doing a biography about. I've been curious about Abraham Lincoln. I'm curious about extraterrestrials, so I made two alien movies. I've been curious about what is a hero? What, what, how do you define heroism? And so Indiana Jones is a hero, but so is Celie in The Color Purple. She's also a great hero heroine. And so curiosity is the beginning of everything. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis.